Right, so we're in smart mode with GPS lock because we've got a solid green light. So this will show stick relativity. So if I just take off, it'll just hold this up here. And hold that altitude just from the uh, from the barometer, and it's holding GPS position now. And you can actually see it making adjustments, but it's staying in one place. Now the stick is setting the altitude, so if I move the stick up, it will climb, and then it'll reach an altitude, and it'll stop which is still climbing now now it's stopped so it will stay at that height until the battery runs out and again if I drop the stick down to there it'll descend until it reaches that preset height and it will then hold that height until the battery runs out and again, I'm not touching anything on here. Now the stick relativity is that at the moment it's pointing away from me. If I push forward stick, it will fly away from me. And if I pull backward stick, it'll fly towards me. Now if I turn it so it's pointing nose in, it knows which way it's pointing. So if I push forward stick, It'll move away from me, and if I pull backward stick, it'll come back to me. And it does that in a circle around where it thinks I'm standing. So if I move right, it'll go round me in a circle. And I'm now at 90 degrees to where I started. If I push forward stick, it'll go away from me. If I pull backward stick, it'll come towards me. And Again, if I turn it round, whichever way it's pointing, back stick will always come back towards me, forward stick will go away from me. It also has a safe circle so it won't fly into me, which is what it's doing now. So now I'm actually on the limit of that and it won't come any closer. So I literally, physically, it's impossible for me to fly into myself. So I'll go back to where I started and then we'll show you the next mode. Right, so I'm now going to show you the stability mode. Stability mode is the blue LED, and in this mode, it still has GPS locks. So if I start it up, if I take off, it will hold that position, but it won't hold height. So I'm having to adjust the throttle to, to adjust the height, but the position I'm not touching. So as you can see, it's making corrections all the time wind I'm not touching the right stick at all it literally will stay in that spot or in that column but I'm adjusting the throttle completely manually so if I put the stick up it'll climb and it'll keep going up and up and up over one spot and I it'll go up and up and up and then if I drop the throttle it'll descend again I'm controlling the throttle but it's holding its position so it won't wander off but it will come straight down if I accelerate, it'll just land it there. So in that mode, you've also got no stick relativity. So if I turn it sideways, if I push forward stick, it will go forward and backwards, not forward to me, back to me. So for this to go away from me, I'm having to push right and to come toward me, forward and left. But at any point, if I let go, it takes a, a second to, it'll drift for a second, but then it'll lock in and it will now hold that position. And so I'm not touching the stick other than to just height, but it will stay in that exact spot. There's hardly any wind today, but I've flown this in 15 mile an hour wind and it does exactly the same thing. Now the only, uh, as soon as you touch the controls, then it's obviously no longer locked. So if you're holding in a bit of stick, it will wander left and right a little. It won't necessarily hold an exact path, but as soon as you let go, you see it, it initially will drift for a bit. I can probably show you that better. And you can actually see it lock in. So let's do that again. 
So if you let go, and then there it's, you can see it's now it's holding an, an angle. But initially, it will have drifted. But now it'll hold that position. I'm not touching the sticks other than height. It'll do it all right. So then I'll stop that one and I'll show you the agility mode next. Right, now this is the red LED, which is the agility mode. In this one, there's no GPS assistance and there's no altitude assistance. So it's effectively fully manual control and it's very responsive. So if I just show you how responsive. And you can literally fly any aerobatics that you want with a quad. Obviously it won't fly upside down, but it'll do anything else. One, two, three. New triple flips, no problem at all. Now obviously, you have to be very careful in this mode because it'd be very easy to crash. But for, for aerobatics, it's perfect. In agility mode, if you're flying and you panic, you don't know what you're doing. If you click return to home, it will take over the red flashing light and it will now fly back to where it started. I'm not touching anything. And it'll land and switch off. Now obviously you have to hit return to home before you crash, but it does mean you've got a little safety net if you're trying out something new, as long as you're at a reasonable height, you can get away with a lot more than you can with a normal quadcopter. I hope this is useful.